this is a simple but very effective, I think, way of showing changing materials. It works well in changing materials or in gases, liquids and solids, and it also shows a quite dramatic, irreversible reaction. Hi, Carrie-Anne. This is a dramatic way of showing the irreversible reaction between vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. Okay. I'm going to ask you to put about a centimetre of vinegar into that glass jar. Okay. Is that enough? That's great. Okay. And if you could now put a couple of teaspoonfuls of bicarbonate of soda okay. into the fingers of okay. that glove. It's just a final glove. And the next bit's the tricky bit. <laughs> because I want you to fit the glove onto the jam jar so that it's a snug, tight fit, because you're going to be producing a gas and you don't want the gas to be able to get out easily. If you can't make it fit snugly, you can put an elastic band round it, but it's a bit of a fiddle, so it's better if you can find a, a jar that's got a wide enough opening for that. Okay. And if you now lift up, say, that finger, you should find that the mixture of bicarbonate of soda and vinegar produces a gas. Mm -hmm. When you produce a gas, it spreads out. Mm -hmm. Gas molecules spread apart as far as they can go. You know that. You know that there's as much oxygen in that corner of the room as there is over here. Mm -hmm. You know that if you go into Manchester, there'll be oxygen to breathe. Gases spread apart as far as they can go. And you can see this quite dramatically with... Oh, that's a recalcitrant one there. You can mm. see this quite dramatically with the way it's blown up the, yeah. the glove. The gas you're producing is carbon dioxide, the gas that we breathe out. <laughs>